Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be wrapping the PRL downpipe as I mentioned in my last video. I have the PRL downpipe and the front pipe for the Type R, so I'm just going to wrap the downpipe today and hopefully get this installed soon. What I'm going to be using to wrap it is the uh, DEI titanium exhaust wrap and I've also got the uh, high temp silicone coating to apply afterwards. Right now I've got this uh, DEI wrap in some water just to make it a uh, easier to wrap with. This is one of the tips that I saw when I was uh, researching how to wrap because I've never wrapped anything before with the uh, exhaust wrap so this will be my first kind of experiment and so I've got the exhaust wrap, I've got some stainless steel zip ties and yeah scissors and a cutter for the zip tie. I saw in another video when uh, someone left the wrap flat like this inside the inside of the bowl with water uh, when they were wrapping the exhaust, what happens is it starts to twirl because of the way it's coming out. So what I did was, I'm just going to take this uh, stick right here, it's actually my old rock band stick. And I uh, just placed it like that. So as I'm pulling the exhaust wrap, it's not going to twirl or anything and I should, that should make it easier when I'm wrapping the exhaust. So yeah, uh, let's get to it. So now we're in the garage and I've let the water dry up on the wrap. That way when I'm spraying, it's not going to be applying onto a wet wrap. It's going to be applying onto a dry wrap and be able to absorb into that wrap and seal a lot better. So before I start spraying, I'm just going to tape off all the parts that I'm going to need to either put a bolt through or put a bolt into. You also don't want to be spraying sealant on any of the sealing surfaces for the flange. So you also want to tape that off on both ends. I'm going to go ahead and apply three coats of the sealant onto the wrap and I'm going to let this dry about 25 minutes in between each spray session. That way it has enough time for the wrap to absorb the sealant and hopefully make a good seal so there's no moisture going under the wrap or in onto the piping. For my first time of wrapping an exhaust pipe, uh, it wasn't too hard other than cutting myself and spilling a bunch of water on myself. Uh, I think I got through the day pretty easy. And that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you haven't wrapped an exhaust pipe before, I'm sure that after seeing me doing it for the first time, you should have some confidence and maybe you can also try it out yourself. That's it. Peace out.